Have you ever wondered how to create a visually appealing dynamic facade in Grasshopper using a video as an input? In this tutorial we'll show you how to animate movable facade panels that respond to individual frame of the video. Without further ado, let's get started. We'll start with the surface that will be our initial input. Facade surface will be divided using component subdivision surface. In the D input, we need to place two dimensional domain that will be divided along U and V direction. In U direction, we'll set 150 segments. In order to get square like subsurfaces, we need to find the ratio between surface facade dimensions that will be multiplied by the number of segments placed in U input. Subsurfaces will be converted into mesh and using Virable plugin from each face, frames will be created and also mesh inside of it. Frames will be used to make facade structure and elements inside will be rotated based on the video frames representing dynamic facade. Once we have face frames, we can apply thickness and create 3D geometry with Weaverbird Thicken component. Then we can avoid weird mesh shading by exploding mesh, unifying normals and joining mesh once again. Let's go back to mesh faces. In order to position inner mesh faces in the middle of facade structure, we will offset each mesh face and these elements need to be rotated based on video frames, but we are missing a rotation plane and angle. First, we'll construct rotation planes. So what I'm going to do is extract center of the surface and use it as origin of XZ plane. It needs to be adjusted by new plane normal. As our initial surface is flat, we can get its normal vector from Z output of deconstruct plane component. That vector will be new normal of XZ plane. From adjusted XZ plane, we'll take X and Z axis and use them to construct new horizontal plane. Now we need to position new plane to the center of each element of the facade using mesh face normals and take centers from C output and place into plane origin. The output will be used as rotation planes and now we are only missing angle of rotations. Our initial idea is to animate facade elements based on the video, but as we can't import video into Grasshopper, we need to extract video frames first. After we place all frame images into same folder, we need to type in the panel its location on your computer. Using human plugin, we can get all the files from a specified folder with directory contents component. In my case, I have 895 frames, which will be roughly 30 seconds of the video. And if you want to speed up the video, we can extract every fourth frame, which I did. And as a result, I got 224 frames. If we take the largest index number, in our case is 223 and use multiplier from 0 to 1, we'll be able to select each frame from the list. Now we need to import these frames into Grasshopper and we can do it with import image component and the result will be mesh rectangle. It requires three more inputs, image destination rectangle, number of mesh vertices along X and Y direction. Destination rectangle will be the same size as our initial surface number of mesh vertices along X and Y direction will be one number larger than the number of subsurfaces in the same direction. For example, if we have two panels along X and Y direction, we'll have three vertices along X and three vertices along Y direction. In the next step, we need to find average color for each panel. As all vertices have their own color, we'll explode the mesh take colors from all four corner vertices and find average color. Then we'll extract brightness 
of each color using split AHSV component and based on these values we'll rotate facade panels. Zero is black, one is white. But before that we need to remap these values. Target domain will be from 90 to 1 or opposite, it's up to you. Basically if we keep it like this and let's say mesh color is black, the panel will be rotated by 90 degrees. If you want to adjust rotation range, you can do it by changing source domain. Basically, end domain will be modified using multiplier from 0 to 1. And new domain will be a source. Finally, values from output C will be grafted and converted into radians and placed inside rotate component. Now you can see how we can animate facade panels with a single slider and create dynamic facade based on the video. If you want to export frames for the animation, you can right click on the slider and click animate. Here you can set resolution, frame count, file names. Once you click OK, you will export frames and later it can be combined into a video. Extended video of this tutorial will be focused on rendering and animation with V-Ray. First, you will learn how to extract frames from the video using Photoshop. Then we'll move to V-Ray, where we'll apply V-Ray materials to our geometry, add V-Ray infinite plane and the lighting. After that, you will learn how to render multiple frames. And on top of that, we are going to teach you a simple trick how to create animation from rendered frames in Premiere Pro. This you can watch on our Patreon page and support our work at the same time. With that, you will also get access to all extended tutorials and project files. Take care! If you'd like to know exactly how to create complex projects like these, and if you're interested in step-by-step -step learning approach starting from zero, make sure to check our Grasshopper Complete course, where you'll find over 60 hours of video material structured in a form of video library, covering in depth more than 500 Grasshopper components through practical examples. And you'll have access to us personally, so we can answer all of your questions right away. The link is in the description.